Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your Citrix Netscaler by deploying a LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance and modifying your Citrix Netscaler using the web UI interface. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVA and VHD formats for both VMware, ESXi, and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to your VMware ESXi console. Right click and click Deploy an OVF Template. Under Select an OVF Template, select Local File and then Choose Files. Navigate to the location of the LoginTC Radius Connector OVA file. Select it and click Open. Click Next. Enter a name for the appliance and click Next. Select a relevant compute resource and click Next. Review the details and click Next. Select a relevant storage and click Next. Select a relevant network and click Next. Now you've completed the Deploy an OVF template wizard. Click Finish. To view the newly deployed appliance, select the instance and open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Log in using the LoginTC user user with default password LoginTC Radius. One word, all lowercase. Once logged in, type setup and hit enter. Hit enter and pick a new password for the LoginTC user, user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does not affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Now that the network is configured, the web server will automatically turn on. Open a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated next to Administration Panel URL. Remember to include HTTPS and port 8443 when composing the URL. Enter the same password you configured to log in. Find the LoginTC Organization API key by navigating to the LoginTC Admin Panel. Click Settings. Scroll down to the API section and click Click to View. Copy the Organization API key and paste it into the form. Click Next. Confirm your LoginTC organization and click Continue to LoginTC Radius Connector. If you have an existing LoginTC Radius Connector deployed, you can import the configurations. In this case, we will configure a new LoginTC Radius Connector. Click No to continue to the administration panel. Now your LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. 
Now you are going to add a new endpoint to accept authentication requests. If you have not created an application, navigate to the Login TC Admin panel and click Application. Type Citrix and then click Citrix Netscaler. Go back to the Login TC Radius connector and click Create your first endpoint. The Login TC Radius connector will retrieve your applications from your Login TC organization. Pick the Citrix Netscaler application by clicking it. To get the application API key, go to the Login TC Admin panel in the newly created application. Copy the application key and paste it. Scroll down, click Test, and Next. Now configure first factor authentication. If you use a RADIUS server for first factor authentication, you can select RADIUS. For this video, first factor authentication will be configured using an Active Directory instance. Enter the Active Directory host and port, and then in the bind DN field, enter the distinguished name of a user that has read access to the directory. Enter the password as well. This account will be used by the Login TC Radius connector to connect to Active Directory and validate the user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all of your users reside. Fill out the username and filter attribute as needed. Scroll down, click Test, and then Create. Now select your newly created Active Directory user directory. For group attribute, select None. Click Next. Now pick a challenge strategy. This feature allows you to configure which users should be challenged with second factor. You can pick a static list of usernames or base challenging on Active Directory group membership. This is useful for testing in a production environment or to control the rollout of two-factor authentication to your user base. In this video, we will pick challenge all users. Finally, configure the Radius client. Enter the name of the client as it will appear in your endpoints list. Enter the IP address where the authentication request will originate from. If you have multiple Radius clients with their own IP addresses, you can add them here as well. Enter a secret that will be shared between your login to see Radius connector and the Radius client. Pick iframe for a streamlined user experience. Scroll down, click test, and create. Now your endpoint is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your endpoint. Go to the Login TC Admin panel, and from the Users tab, click Create your first user. The username must match the username in your Active Directory, or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address. For domain membership, make sure the domain you've just created is selected. Click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with Login TC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the token on your test device. Launch the Login TC app and click Add Token and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your Login TC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with Login TC. Refresh the page to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the Login TC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. This test verifies that both first factor and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the endpoint configuration is correct before modifying your RADIUS client.
Click your newly created endpoint. Click test endpoint to open the test endpoint modal. Enter the username and password and click test endpoint. The test endpoint modal will behave the way the authentication mode is set in the endpoint. Click send me a request to receive an authentication request. Approve the request. This test confirms that both first factor and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your Citrix Netscaler using the web UI interface. On the LoginTC radius connector, under the settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and radius authentication and accounting ports. Now navigate to the Citrix Netscaler web UI interface, enter your administrator credentials and log in. Click authentication in the left menu and then click dashboard. Click add to create a new authentication server. Under choose server type, select radius. Enter a name and then enter the IP address of the LoginTC radius connector. Ensure the radius server port is set to 1812 and enter the same radius server secret used when creating the configuration on the LoginTC radius connector. Set the radius timeout to 95 seconds and click test connection. Verify the test passes and click create. Now click Netscaler Gateway in the left menu and then click Virtual Servers. Select the virtual server you wish to add LoginTC multi-factor authentication to and click Edit. Under Basic Authentication, click the plus button. Under Choose Policy, select Radius. And under Choose Type, select Primary. Click Continue. Under Select Policy, select the plus button to add a new policy. Enter a relevant policy name. And under Server, make sure the Login TC Radius Connector server is selected. Set Expression to NS underscore T-R-U-E. Click Create. Set the priority to 100 and click Bind. Now modify a Netscaler file to ensure LoginTC multi-factor authentication options appear when a user accesses your Citrix Netscaler service. Connect to your Citrix Netscaler over SSH. Run the command shell. Then type the command cd space forward slash netscaler forward slash ns underscore gui forward slash vpn. Create a backup of nsshare.js by entering the command cp space nsshare.js space nsshare.js back. Run the command chmod 557 and a share.js. Open the file using vi space and a share.js. Scroll down to the dialog body to function. Scroll down to the bottom of the dialog body to function to insert the Citrix integration snippet. Navigate to the documentation to copy the Citrix integration snippet. Press O to insert and paste it. Now ensure you've entered your application ID in the Citrix integration snippet. Retrieve the application ID from the LoginTC admin panel. Copy it and paste it. Now enter colon WQ to save and exit the file. Run the command chmod 555 nsshare.js. Exit your SSH session. Your Citrix Netscaler is now protected with LoginTC multi-factor authentication. Now test Citrix Netscaler using the Citrix Netscaler web portal with both 
first factor authentication against Active Directory, and second factor using Login TC. Navigate to the Citrix Netscaler web portal. Enter your username and password and click Log On. You will now be shown with various options to authenticate with Login TC. Click Send Me a Request to authenticate with a push notification. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your Citrix Netscaler securely using Login TC multi factor authentication.